Section 49 of The Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri, translated by Courtney Langdon. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Purgatorio, Canto 15. Purgatory, the second ring. Envy. The angel of generosity. The third ring. Anger. Instances of gentleness. Between the third hour's close and day's beginning as much as is apparent of the sphere, which like a child is ever given to play, so much now of its course toward evening seemed remaining to the sun twas vespers there and midnight here and fully on the face its rays were striking us because the mount had been so circled by us that we now were going on directly toward the west when far more blindingly than e'er before i felt my forehead overcome by splendour and was bewildered by these unknown things over my eyebrows hence i raised my hands and made myself the screen which filing off tempers excessive light in what is seen as when from water or a looking-glass a ray leaps up in the opposite direction and in the same way mounts that down it came and from the falling of a stone departs at equal distance to the same extent as both experiment and art reveal even so it seemed to me that i was smitten as by a light reflected there before me because of which my sight was swift to flee dear father what is that said i from which i cannot screen my face sufficiently to help me and which toward us seems to come wonder thou not he answered me if still heaven's family affect thy sight an angel is this who comes to ask us to ascend it soon will happen that to see such things will be no burden but as great a joy as nature hath enabled thee to feel as soon as we had reached the blessed angel with joyful voice he said enter from hence a stairway far less steep than were the rest we were ascending having thence departed when blessed was sung behind us and my teacher then and i we two alone were going up and as we went i thought of how i might get profit from his words whereat i turned toward him and asked what meant that spirit from romagna when he mentioned forbidden and companionship in things hence he of his worst fold he knows the harm hence let it not surprise if he therefore rebuke men that it be lamented less because your wishes aim at that wherein each share is lessened through companionship envy fain moves the bellows for your sighs if love though for the highest sphere of all were upward turning your desires that fear would not be in your breast because the more there are up yonder by whom ours is said so much more good doth each of them possess and so much more love in that cloister burns i fast much more from being satisfied said i than had i silent been at first and more of doubt i gather in my mind how can it be then that a good that shared should make more owners richer with itself than if by but a few it be possessed and he to me because thou fasten thy mind exclusively on earthly things thou drawest darkness out of every light that good ineffable and infinite which dwells up yonder runs as fast to love as to bright bodies comes a ray of light so much it gives itself as is the warmth it findeth hence as is the extent of love so much the eternal worth spreads over it the more there are up there that love each other the more there are to love and more the love and mirror-like the more of love each sheds on each and if my talk sate not thy hunger thou shalt see beatrice and she will fully free thee from this and every other want do thou then see to it that speedily thou have removed as two already are the five wounds which are closed by causing pain wishing to say thou satisfiest me i saw that i had reached the following ring my fond eyes therefore caused me to keep still there it appeared to me that i was wrapped in an ecstatic vision all at once 
and that within a temple i perceived much people and a lady at the door who with the sweet mien of a mother said wherefore my son hast thou thus dealt with us behold thy father and i have sought for thee in sorrow here when she had ceased to speak that disappeared which had before appeared then there appeared another o'er whose cheeks those tears were streaming down which grief distils when born of great resentment toward another saying if thou art master of the city about whose name there was among the gods such strife and whence all knowledge sparkles forth avenge thyself on those audacious arms pisistratus which dared embrace our daughter kindly and gently then that lord appeared to answer her with looks of self-control what shall we do to him who hateth us if he who loves us is by us condemned then folk i saw inflamed by anger's fire who bent on killing a young man with stones cried to each other naught but kill him kill, kill. kill. and him i saw bowed to the ground in death which now oppressed him of his eyes he e'er made gates of heaven and in that anguish prayed the lord on high with looks which unlock pity that he his persecutors would forgive when once my mind returned outside again to those things which outside of it are true i recognized my not untruthful errors my leader who could see that i was acting like one who frees himself from slumber said what aileth thee that thou canst not stand up but hast been coming more than half a league veiling thine eyes and reeling with thy legs like one overcome by either wine or sleep o oh, my dear father if thou listen to me i'll tell thee what it was appeared to me said i when i was thus deprived of legs and he if on thy face a hundred masks thou hadst thy thoughts would not be hid from me however small they were what thou hast seen was lest thou free thyself from opening up thy heart unto those waters of thy peace which from the eternal fountain are diffused i did not ask what ails thee as would one who looks but with the eye which seeth not when once the body lies inanimate but asked it to endow thy feet with strength so must the indolent be spurred when slow to use their waking time when it returns on through the vesper hours we went along forward intent as far as e'er our eyes could reach against the late and shining rays when lo a smoke in our direction came little by little and as dark as night nor was there any place of shelter from it this of pure air deprived us and our eyes end of purgatorio canto fifteen